Check out this video where a man attaches a copper wire and flies a drone up to about 115 meters and shows off the ether in action. All right, I'm gonna stop at 115 and hold steady. All right, it didn't blow up yet. Oh, by the way, meet the aerial film crew. I just thought this was a cool shot. Oh yeah, I'm getting shocked right now. This time I just used the electroscope as a quick voltage check. Woo! Now that's a few thousand volts right there. All right, let's see if there's enough current to make this Franklin Bell work. Oh, 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 dude! Freaking working, buddy! Yeah. It's a really cool process. The aerial wire places a positive charge on this can, which then influences the foil ball to deliver electrons from the grounded can, which is directly connected to Earth. The clouds finally opened up, so I connected up the corona motor. Like before, one side was connected to ground, while the other was attached to the aerial wire. And after just a few seconds... Hey, hey, she's spinning! <laughs> this is just remarkable. It never really spun that fast, but I just sat and enjoyed the miracle. I mean, I quite literally was siphoning energy straight from the atmosphere. This motor was operating off of several kilovolts, which you could actually hear if you stopped the motor and brought your finger near the aerial wire. That's the sound of coronal discharge. Oh. Not long after, the wind started picking up, so we packed up. There's all kinds of really interesting things you can do with wire. You can take a 10 foot piece of wire, double it up in half, tape the two ends, stick it in here, tighten it, hang it onto a wire, back off, make it tight, and twist the wire into a 45 degree angle till it's tightly twisted. Because when wires meet, cross each other at a 45 degree angle, you're getting into hyperspatial physics. The way the, the energy flows through those wires and they cross at the nodes at 45 degree angles, all kinds of amazing things begin to happen. If you want to um, check it out, remember Slim Sperling, he's now, but people who have taken his technology and are making it on their own now but he was a master at it. And you can buy copper bracelets by themselves and people find that that helps. We're just discovering the old and we call it new. No, it's old stuff that we're rediscovering. It's thousands of years old.